Welcome back to another Game Maker Studio tutorial, and this time on something which is really, really basic and uh, every game maker should know. What do I mean by that? Well, the handling of transition between one level to the other, and how well you are going from one place to the other and keeping all the relevant information stored. So as you can see, I have 250 and I can keep on collecting that stuff for infinity. So if you don't know how that stuff actually works in the Game Maker Studio, well, you come to the right place. So stay tuned. This is OneUp Indie. I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Souls and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here, you want more? consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every day a video and please I don't know if it's really helpful just press that bell icon thingy well, I don't know just do it if you can if not it's okay with me so let's get right into the meat of the whole thing so what do we have we have like two rooms and here we have a player and here we have a player and a lot of games actually do that but most not so what do you mean by that you for example once you uh, let's say go into this room everything is gonna get destroyed and completely destroyed so if you're having some objects here i don't know some some, some apples or whatever everything's gonna get well reset it so basically every time you load a level that thing is getting destroyed and rebuilt as the same so for example if we just jump between that and that level all the time, the apples will be always there the next time you come around. So that is a thing to keep in mind how memory and uh, Game Maker Studio works. And for example, I have a little controller here, which is a very simplistic one. What does it do? Well, it just draws the player score. And that is it. Let's see if it's... Yeah, let's unflag that. So you can, you can actually see what's going on. So let's destroy that. So for example, you have this room and you're thinking like, all right, I will collect those apples, get some points for collecting them. And then I will just go to another room. So how can you go to another room? That's quite simple. You just go, well, say, go to room. You can, just, for example, do it on a collision with the player, with this little hyperactive girl here. So then you just say which room you want and which is the, this one so you just copy paste it bam put it in and you're pretty much set and for example let's check it out and see what happens so i have my score of 50 100 150 250 and then i enter the new room and well no score here i enter here Score is 50. What the hell is going on? Well, actually, I know. I just want to tease a little bit. So, what can we do? Well, let's say we just say, hmm, we put another controller in there. But I, I guess you already know that this won't work. So, I have my score 50. Bam, bam, bam. Go in here. Score 50. Hmm. So, that is not working. Why is that not working? Because, well, that controller is just in this room and every time well, you reload the room it will be created new and everything is gonna get resetted so you need something outside or something which is and here comes the keyword persistent and persistence is something which is very very important because you want to keep some stuff around so what do I mean by that for example I have this score stored in the controller object so I can say alright I flag you as persistent and then it will even say instances of this object will persist between rooms that's exactly what's happening so this thing will just stick around forever if you not well do a manually instance destroy of it somewhere at some point so just keep that in mind so that object will be always there but that is the, the good part for example here let's kill this thing here and let's say for example we make our little girl persistent as well and that is a pretty bad idea because now we're hitting a cloning machine what do you mean by that well you see one hyperactive girl collecting apples now you see two and where's the second one yeah 
but at least we are <laughs> getting more score so that is the thing you should not be doing maybe it's maybe you can do but it would be kind of pointless for a regular game so what's the problem well not everything should be persistent because it just makes sense for things which are kind of well transitioning between those things uh, well, those levels and they have a function and for example those controllers are a common well occurrence and i actually use that for my own games every every time because well controllers are good because they're kind of a, let's say a gatekeeper between those levels what do i mean by that well for example let's say you are having like not a player everywhere but you have a spawner and that spawner is just spawning your player and that's and then the players the, once it's getting initialized just checking all right how much experience points do i actually have what's my score um how much gold have i collected how much hp do i have well then it will take all those well informations from the controller because that thing is persistent and for example you have like a load function and a save function so for example once your game is starting it will start uh, go from uh, first room and then it will create that thing and then there will be maybe a loading because it will grab some outside values from the save system and then it will say alrighty the player is already a level 4 and it, ha it, it has so much and so much gold so just keep that in mind that you have outside things like those controllers which are just saving not just like informations about the player but some general stuff maybe like I don't know it's saving um, what kind of resolution you're having maybe you're having some assists mode on or um, some other stuff which uh, the, the player actually adjust in the previous game and now he fires up the game again and well he expects that all that stuff has been saved so for that controllers are very 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 powerful and a lot of games do that so just keep that in mind if you're just having your game and you want to jump between levels have those kind of controllers which are kind of outside the room and just independent of room well, jumping so well that should be it for that so basically what you need to know is flag your persistence on things you think are worthy of well, being flagged as persistent because some things should be and some not so that was it Hopefully that was of entertainment value to you. Have a good one. One up indeed.